guys even take the man's last name because you're literally I did not. I did, I did not take his last name. So oh my go. God, that's so masculine. That's masculine energy. You can't have masculine yeah. energy like that. What the There's no such thing as 50-50 partnerships in a relationship. It doesn't work. No, and I agree with that because you know what? There are times so where... So then it's not a partnership. Where it's always a partnership. But I think that there has to be clear communication where sometimes it's like, Hey, babe, I've got 20% to give you today. I need you to do the other 80 and then the man can come back and be like, babe, I got 10% to give you today. It was a horrible day. Did not go as planned. Can you give me that 90? No? No. See, what she's doing is conflating two things. She's conflating two things. She's saying partnership, but then she's saying that partnership is when i'm down you keep up the thing and when i'm down you keep up the thing but we're talking about energy wise well i mean if you start getting into the weeds of all the the little nuance and you're saying well this is a partnership because uh sometimes i'll scratch your head when we're in the bed and then sometimes you'll scratch my head when i'm in the bed see we're partners no, we're talking about the things that actually matter the most in the relationship. We're talking about the things that matter the most, the decision making, the things under that. Those are the things where it can't be a partnership. It doesn't make any sense. Males lead, females follow. That's how it was built from beginning of time. It's only now in this day and age where corporations are telling females to be boss babes so they can stay away from males and spend all their money that females are trying to run homes. Freak out of here. That's not how this works. I, I don't tolerate none of that bull crap. That's why my roster acts the way it acts because it knows I don't tolerate that bull crap. But most guys work. But I'm so glad that that has like started turning around massively. We still got to get these dudes off these chicks comment sections and OF pages and all. But, oh, we're definitely going in the right direction now. I don't need, I mean. Um, I think, I think roles well, need to be. Have I you ever been married? Oh, sh**. Here we go again. That's, that's not really relevant. I think no, but it's a question I'm asking you. It's not really relevant to the conversation at hand. I mean. It's, it's a yes or no question. No, I have not. But that's okay. not relevant. Like it's you don't, not relevant? you don't have to be a mathematician to say one plus one is two. Do you? You don't have to. You, you can identify a problem without necessarily being involved in said problem. Bingo. I'm saying a big reason why we have the issues that we have when it comes to intersexual dynamics is because of this belief system that men and women are equal in the confinements of relationship. They're not. And as I would argue, if you treat women as equal in the relationship, attraction gets lost, respect gets lost, and that's why we have sky-high um, divorce rates. Because women are simply not built to lead men in a relationship. They're just not. It exactly. doesn't work. But I bet money, I bet money, that she's going to come back with something that is nonsensical. She's not even hearing him to say, okay, well... This makes a lot of sense that it works like this. Nope. She's going to say, whatever he says, I'm against it. It might sound good on paper, but it just doesn't work in theory. Or it doesn't work in practice, excuse me. I think we have skyrocketing divorce rates because of social media, desire, and men's ability to just want something different that doesn't challenge them. But women are the ones initiating 80% of the divorce. Yeah, because y'all are the ones that are out there on social media DMing people doing the thing. I beg your pardon? Social media actually gives women way more Ashley Madison, right. example. W women get way more. Social media is more of a problem on the female side than on the male side. That's if the female is out there putting all of her shit. And a lot of they are. And a lot are. And a lot are. But there are a lot of us that do not. Well, I'm out, I'm out here in Brickle right now walking my dog. I understand that. In my yoga pants. I understand that. But ma'am, 
you're not the ones for whom anybody is looking. <laughs> you're, nobody's checking for you. Why are you putting yourself in, in the conversation like you should be there? N no, 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 boo-boo. You, you had your shot back in the day. Nobody's checking for you. We're talking about females now. You're probably single and we can all see why. I don't need a man. But you know, the young, so attractive the women, the most desired women nowadays, the young, attractive women, all of them have some type of social media presence nowadays. Maybe in generations past they didn't, but that is a real obstacle that men have to deal with when dating in 2024. Exactly. I, I agree, but, but you know what? Then that's the wrong woman to pick. Well, duh. For a relationship. For yes. marriage. Well, that's why the vetting period is so important, but yes. Yes, that is. The problem is, I think 78% of females in America are now modern females. So you have 22% left, and of those, how many are single? How many are in relationships? How many are gay? So that vetting process is not only important, but it's going to be dang near impossible with the amount of females that you have who are even worthy of being taken seriously. Hence why guys are going overseas. It's go very back important. to well, that's absolutely. But going back to what you were saying, um, yeah, I don't believe in equality within relationships at all. I think men are supposed to lead, women are supposed to follow, and that's just how it has to be for anything to work. Once you give a woman, you know, equal authority to yourself, that's when the problems arise in a relationship. Well, Max. I wish you well. No I, I don't think that uh, you'll be married anytime soon. <laughs> I'm a teller. I don't think that's the goal for me as a man. It's your goal as a woman to get married, not my goal to get married. Oh, hell no. I'm never getting married again. No, I'm, I don't mean I'm you good. personally. I'm saying that's I'm the, living my best it's the woman's life. job to pursue to pursue marriage and find a man to take really? her seriously. It's not our job. No, not at all. No? There's a reason why the wedding is centered around the woman and not the man. Thank you, sir. There's a reason why. Not every woman. Oh, wait a minute. Got to correct you on that, Myron. The marriage is centered around a female because they want to make her look good for the man. This is one of the things that has happened over time. Females actually think that marriages are for them as far as the, the wedding, the ceremony. Ceremony is not for a female. Ceremony is for a male because they're dialing her up so that when she comes up there to the male, that male will say, hey, father of the bride. I am taking her from you and putting her under my wing, under my authority, under my protection. That's why they're that's why they're dialing her up. They're not dialing her up because it's her day. But females over time, because of how they think about themselves, self-centered and selfish, they're thinking, oh, the reason everybody's paying so much attention to me is because it's my day. No, it's not. The marriage day was for the male it wasn't for her the wedding is for the male not for her this was crazy but <laughs> people don't even realize it's like they're trying to make sure he is happy with what he sees so he can accept responsibility for her so you're wrong on that myra i don't need i mean not every woman every girl wants walks, a big mar marriage, Every girl dreams wet, walking wedding. down the aisle. Every girl dreams one day of walking down the aisle in a white dress. There's <laughs> a reason the, the wedding, the no, entire honey. institution of marriages. I got weddings. married in the Maldives. No, you guys even take the man's last name because you're literally in I did not. I did, I did not take his last name. So oh my go. God, that's so masculine. That's masculine energy. That's you can't have masculine it. energy like that. What the Well, that is true. Women well, do pursue a man's last name. I I never did, so, but hey. Well, that might, you were, know you, were what? you making more money than him? Uh, I did, yeah. yeah. That's the problem. Hell of a lot. That is the problem. So, that I, is right there the problem. That I disagree with that, Myra. That, that's, one of the, that's one of the takes that I think is factually incorrect. You don't have to make more money than your female in order for the relationship to work. You can make more money than your female and be a simp. You can make more money than your female and be a wuss. Or you can make less money than your female and be masculine and the female will follow your lead. So it's not about the money. It's about the masculinity. 
first, money second. Of course, you need money, but if you have no masculinity, she ain't gonna respect you even if you have money. So yeah, that's the one take uh, with which I disagree when it comes to F and F is that, oh, you don't have make more money than her, so the relationship's not gonna work. Bull crap. She can make 55 and you make 45. If you're a masculine man and you're like, no, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make something happen, gonna make it happen. I've always got the checks from my females, like they gave me their money for me to do uh, what I needed to do in the relationship and the whole nine. It's always been like that. And I made more money than some females and I made less money than some females. None of that matter because if you're masculine, then you're going to be the leader, period. It doesn't matter how much money that you make. Now, again, it matters in the system of at least making average money. But other than that, it doesn't matter. So tell me, is she a traditional woman, modern woman or modern female? Put it in the comment section and tell me why you think so. And then grab yourself some merch on the way out in order to support the channel. And of course, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks, good man fam.